Cayuga Speedway is home to the B-Main, despite the fact that it's still kind of under reconstruction. As you can see, the front straightaway and back straightaways are paved uh, with new asphalt. The corners, not so much, just kind of smoothed it out as best they can, but Marcus Stroman is going to get the field going here, the 28 car field. Uh, off into turn number one, Shrimp Engrid starts on uh, on outside pole and quickly loses second to Mark Nutt on the inside. Marcus Stroman uh, right down on the bottom, bit of, a bit, uh, a bit of a surprise there, but Stroman will hold on to the lead at the end of lap number one. Mark Nutt currently in the tedious second position, the last transfer spot into the feature. Uh, Nutt and Stroman pulling away, but not all over the back of Stroman. He's very impatient getting his way to the front, and an amazing save by Stroman to come back up in front of Nutt and not lose a huge amount of time doing so. But here comes Angritz uh, going for that second position once again. Angritz wants it back. Stroman uh, got the pull for his heat race at Flamborough Speedway, but blew a motor halfway through after leading all of the races, laps up until that point. He came here with his team and they prepared one hell of a car for the qualifying uh, runs earlier today where he again got the pole and he is currently maintaining the lead having led every lap so far. What a uh, weekend it has been for Stroman Friday night um, with, with the happenings at Flamborough and now here uh, on Saturday night leading the way. The guys at the back are putting on a hell of a show. Everyone very impatient. No one's waiting around in this 75 lap B main. Luke Walker, Zeus Moore, Pichu, London three wide as Sidney Krasta gets into Walker. Walker up the racetrack and that collects Moro, Rick, and Wheeler with a little bit of, of damage. Bejanov perhaps got just the tiniest piece of that, but he's certainly uh, the best off of the drivers involved in this accident. He started dead last and it's going to be a lot of work for him to get up into a transfer spot if that's what he's looking for. Green flag back out, Engritz with a great restart as we come on to lap number 11 and immediately drops to the inside of Stroman in the 66, trying to hold on the best he can. Had to get out of the throttle in the middle of the corner, but a, great, a surprisingly good run off for Engritz as he gets into turn number three, looking to clear off the corner. Yeah, he's going to do so as Stroman struggles to hold on to that second place. Nutt took, took a look on the inside. And I'm sure Stroman didn't want to get spun around there. Um, Stringer making his way forward in the 87. Driving by James Silverfox. Getting right up beside him on the exit of the corner before uh, going down to the inside. To try and get a good run through turns 3 and 4. Currently composing the midfield are drivers like Andreas Allen, Sam Morrow, Michael Kane, and Prudence Littlejohn. Holding on to a top 15 run at the moment. Um, as Ty Dent nearly loses it, getting into turn one. A nice save on behalf of that driver after making a little bit of contact with DJ Harris in the 36 who just narrowly um, didn't make it into the feature in his heat. Again, Flamborough Speedway. Seems all the drivers I'm talking about today were in that Flamborough heat and what an eventful heat that was. Uh, but Dent and Harris continue racing side by side as Kane and Morrow drive by Allen. Allen does not appear to have a car capable of uh, getting a top 10 at the moment. We'll have to see whether or not that car comes, um, comes back as we get into a bit of a green flag run or what's going to happen there. One of the biggest movers of the race thus far is Tyler Markell. Uh, we're currently on lap 20 and Markell is up to 6th position from a starting position of 19th. He's just been driving his way up the inside of people all race long, but keeping himself out of trouble, which is a, which is such a critical aspect of short track racing. Of course, Cayuga Speedway, the second largest oval in Canada at, currently at 5 eighths of a mile in length, second to only Sinair Super Speedway, which is 33 fortieths or 0.825 miles in length. But the caution is out once again uh, I believe Sam Morrow blew up on the back straightaway. Yep, Morrow blew up in turn number one. Uh, tried to get to the inside, tried to go actually to the outside to give them the preferred line down low as Michael Kane merges back up into traffic and that will collect Demir Bejanov. He's not getting away from this one. Allen 
uh, with a little bit of damage as well. Will Void perhaps. Zeus Moro appears to have some damage. Bejenov for some reason gets into the 21. And Pichu London also with a big piece. Didn't see what happened to him. London just came barreling in behind Bejenov, got into the back of him and got sent down the racetrack by Zeus Moro and then ended up Mark Martining it into, uh, into the fire truck entrance before driving away miraculously. That car's got a lot of damage that might take him out of the race in fact. Back to green flag conditions on lap 27. I believe I forgot to mention after the first caution that Alex Wheeler went out of the race from his hit um, in turn number one. Sam Morrow also out of the race from the blown engine but Pichu London still out on the racetrack. Uh, they tore the hood and fenders off that car but he's currently uh, at the tail of the field, luckily. Uh, Engritz, though, uh, leads the lap after the caution. That's when it's most critical to defend your position. And Engritz holding on for now, but Stroman still very close. Ilya Bondarenko up to third in that 77 machine. Mark Nutt currently fourth in the zero car. Stroman wants the lead back, though. He goes to the inside of Engritz down the front straightaway. And he's easily got him cleared by the time we get onto the back straight. A very strong car, it appears, for Stroman today. He really wants to uh, make his way into the feature after what happened in his heat race. Engritz actually ho holds on on the outside, though. Uh, he came back, though. Uh, he came back in turns three and four on that outside, currently doing it again in turns one and two. Bonarenko down on the bottom, uh, looking to grab second for him if Engritz isn't able to make that, uh, that stick on the outside, which it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do. Bondarenko threw into a transfer spot um, now as we approach the halfway mark. I'm not quite sure how, but Pichu London, despite not having a front end, is doing surprisingly well. He's gotten by a few cars. Bejenov, Kane, uh, Zeus Moro, and Luke Walker. Most of those had damage themselves, but none as severe as we see on the 007 machine, and he's still making his way forward. It does appear as Preston Washer nearly makes some contact there in turn one. Stroman begins to pull away, but it's still anyone's guess as to who's going to get that second transfer spot. Nut drove by Bonarenko a few laps ago, but here comes Markel up to fourth, looking for third at the moment as we're about halfway through this thing. Uh, Engritz and Stringer definitely not out of the picture yet either. Um, just a few car lengths back of the battle for uh, the second transfer spot. Duncan here as well. He started sixth. Kind of hasn't done too much so far. This race stayed uh, pretty much where he uh, was at the start. Kerry Davis um, here as well. Daniel Voiles in the 52 is, is currently holding the last spot in the top 10. Uh, defending that position from DJ Harris who is riding his back bumper, but Harris blows up. Coming down the back straightaway, huge bloom of smoke from that car as he holds the inside line, trying to stay out of harm's way as he uh, brings that thing down into the pit. His teammate Wheeler went out to a crash earlier in the race. Neither of those cars are going to make it to the feature. In fact, neither of them are even going to make it to lap 40 in this B main. Real shame for him, what a sour note to end the season on for that team. Will Hoyt, despite rear end damage, has almost made his way up into the top half of the field, up to 15th currently, trying to run down Andrew Rick. Uh, just behind him we have Krasta and Trelinski. Uh, Krasta, of course, involved in a crash earlier on. Trelinski just dog-ass slow um, all race long. Jose Bautista as well uh, a little bit off the pace, but uh, again, he has the excuse of damage. Uh, Kane back here as well as London continues to somehow make his way forward in that 007 machine. Marcus Stroman has pulled away and is currently leading by more than two seconds over Nutt and Markel. It's a bit more of a personalized battle for second now. It appears it's going to be one of these two drivers as the laps begin to run down. Under 25 to go at this point. Uh, Nutt desperately trying to hold on to that second transfer spot over Markel, but Markel has been continuously been taking a peek on that zero car. Might do the same thing to Nutt as Nutt did to Stroman earlier if he's not damn careful, uh, but Nutt holds on to that spot for now. Nutt has slowed considerably 
off the pace of Markel. It has a, it does appear. Angrit's closing in now as Markel tries to go after Strowman for the lead in these final laps. Might not have enough time to close the gap that much uh, on him, but here comes Engritz up the inside of the zero car. He's going to get third. It appears that neither of the Allen racing cars will make it into the race. Allen currently sitting in the in the mid-teens in that 39 car. Alex um, not doing well at all. Currently around 23rd spot in that 49 car. Well under 10 to go now and London and Bejenov, a pair of very frustrated drivers I imagine, get into one another all the way through turns one and two. London isn't able to save it up into the wall and right into the path of Alan Nowhere for him to go as Morrow just barely slips by and Strowman really has to slam on the brakes to avoid that still racing back to the caution as Walker tries to get his lap back in the 100 car the 10's not going to get there in time to get past the 66 but the caution is out with around six laps to go it appears there's going to be uh, just a one or two laps to go when, when we get the restart here Pace car about to go in, and Marcus Stroman's going to lead the field back to the green flag with just one lap to go. Luke Walker in the 100 is one lap down and sitting between Stroman and Markel, so Markel's likely not going to have enough time to get there, but Markel's going to have to hold off uh, some likely charges from Mark Nutt and Shrimp Engritz, who are just behind him. Markel needs to get to the inside of Walker and does so quite easily as, it, uh, as Bondarenko and Shrimp Engritz race for fourth. Uh, Alex Allen in the 49 went out of the race due to terminal damage caused from the last accident. Pichu London stays in, uh, considering it just another flesh wound, but Markel su successfully holds off Nut on this final lap, and Markel will get second and will get the last transfer spot into the feature. A well deserved uh, spot that was, racing up 17 spots in just the first half of this race or so. Marcus Stroman, though, the big winner. Uh, what a weekend it's been for him uh, after starting on pole at Flamborough, uh, leading all of the laps up until the point where he blew his engine under caution, and then coming here, somehow preparing and setting up a car to successfully get the pole here, and then leading the most laps and winning. Mark Nutt will get a close third, not close enough to get uh, to the feature event, but still a finish to the season that he should be very proud of. Shrimp Engritz ends the season with a fourth place run in the B main. Bondarenko fifth. Silver Fox gets a sixth place finish. He was up in the top ten all day long, but it certainly had nothing uh, for the uh, lead two drivers. Kerry Davis, seventh spot. Daniel Voiles managed to get a surprising eighth place finish. Duncan finishes ninth. Started sixth, just kind of stayed there all day long again. And Prudence Littlejohn will finish off the year with a 10th place finish in this race.